Hi guys. Day 9, 100 days of making comics. Um, yeah, if you saw yesterday's video, uh, the ending of it anyway, um, I lost one of my kitties yesterday. He was hit by a car while I was at work. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna miss him, but that cat had so many problems from day one. Um, every year, I swear, every year he would just quit eating and we'd have to take him to the vet and try to figure out what was wrong with him. Uh, we didn't know if it was food allergies, uh, flea allergies, if it was anxiety, and it usually only happened in, in the summertime, like spring, summer, and then it would kind of taper off at fall. And then when winter came, he would put on his, I always called it his Christmas fat, he put his Christmas fat on and was just as happy as heck. So, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was he was allergic to the heat. I have no idea. I really, and the vet doesn't know either. He just, you know, tried to get him better like I did. Just try to get him better. And um, so, eventually, I would just let him be outside because that seemed to be the only place he was happiest. And he would at least eat. Um, I have uh, stray cats that I feed. I am the crazy cat lady, by the way. But I have stray cats that I feed, too. And he would just go out and eat with them and seemed happy. I mean, I have cats inside, too, but I don't know. I don't know. Again, he was, he was an odd egg. So while I am going to miss him, I'm honestly, I think he's in a better place because he will not have to go through another summer um, like that. So... Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna miss him, and I hate, I hate that he had to go that way. Because, Lord, if I was home <laughs> and I saw that, I would just be devastated. Um, but we uh, made him a little burial plot out in the backyard under the big tree, so he'll be here with this house uh, forever. So let's move on. Um, what are we doing on becoming? Well, yesterday before I got home and had all that happen, I did write, I kind of uh, roughly outlined some of the story and made notes on things that I needed to research and get more information on. Today, I spent like the last hour of work upstairs and was sketching out some of my characters. So I'm going to show you some of that and um, please know that these are not going to be the final comic book images. For one, they all, their heads are kind of leaning like that. So, or depending on how you're looking at them, they might be leaning like this. But, yeah. But if I had to draw them, um, if I had to draw them, like in a comic book, the way that I'd sketch them out, it, this comic book will never get done. So these are just rough ideas of, of kind of what is in my mind for them. And so, you ready to look at them? Let's go. Okay, this is the first one that I started with today, and this is um, who I think Doris is, or who, yeah, yeah, this is kind of how I see her. Of course, in the, in the original that I started, she doesn't look anything like this so much, but this is her. I made some notes. Um, you see me because she is based on me, and then I went down here. Um, her face is a little rounder. And I want, I don't want her eyes, you see how they're big here, I don't want her eyes to be so big. Um, I want her to be kind of still hanging on to late 80s hair, so I might readjust this a little bit. And um, yeah, thinner lips, smaller eyes, and kind of hanging on to a late 80s do, if you will. So again, these are not going to be the final image, but they we're close. And then the next one I did was Caleb. Now this was originally Eugene, but since we had happened what happened yesterday, I'm going to change his name to Caleb <laughs> in honor of my poor little kitty cat. So this will be Caleb. Again, I, I don't know. To me, this is a little too close to home, and so I'm going to have to adjust this and <laughs> make it not so obvious, I think, to, yeah, who it is. So, Caleb might see another incarnation. And then we're going to go down, and this is Ian. Um, Ian is, basically, he was born blonde and a little preppy, 
and always sickly. And then he just kind of turned himself into a little goth industrial boy. So that's him. You can see here that his eyebrows are just a little bit lighter than his hair. That is because he is dyed his hair black and his mustache and beard as well. Next is Kelly. Kelly is a friend of Doris. I think they work together. I can't remember if I made her or um, the other one. She hasn't been drawn yet. I think her. I'm gonna name her Meg. Um, but Kelly is a bigger girl, and but she's very pretty. So again, please bear with me on this drawing. Um, but she's um, very pretty, and she's got a, a little bit of a chip on her shoulder because of that that she's pretty and big and she doesn't understand why just because she's big she cannot have um, the guy she wants so that's her and then let's move on down to Devin here's Devin right here now I decided that I want to kind of have Devin have no chin so I'm gonna have to try to um, <laughs> practice drawing that so but I kinda like him he's kinda weasley looking <laughs> and uh, that hair though right so yeah, so that is what I did today at work with these guys, and um, yeah, we're moving right along. Let's see if we get that in focus. There we go. So I've got um, I've got two younger characters to draw, two guys, and they are going to be about um, 17, 16, 17, and then I've got one more girl, Meg, to draw, and I think she's going to be. A little younger than Doris, but uh, older than these guys here. So, or maybe close to Kelly's age. Um, but definitely, these guys right here are younger than Doris, and that goes along with the story. Whoops. And so, yeah, so that's what we did today. So, just gonna go ahead and end it here and <laughs> upload it, and we'll move on to day 10. Uh, maybe we can get the other three characters sketched tomorrow. <laughs> Did you see Caleb pop back in? Oh, well. All right. That's it, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.